Okay, so I am replacing the old TV from my 1999 Winnebago Chieftain with this new Samsung Smart TV. And what I did was there, inside here, there were two screws up here and right here. And same thing on the other side, just normal screws holding this thing in. I was able to remove that. And then there were this bolt right here had a 9 16 cent nut I think on there basically just this clamp since this is this slides and it's movable this clamp held the TV down and this tab is basically the only thing holding it in so all I did was pull the TV out and disconnect the uh, surround sound plug and the power plug and just uh, pulled it away so now I'm going to cut the plywood. Okay, so a couple little notches out, and we're doing another test fit. Cross your fingers says that it's going to fit this time. <laughs> I got the TV bracket off the TV. I'm just going to mark it before I put it like this. I'm just going to do an approximate middle. Use that for the top. Okay, so I have some little wood screws that I'm going to use just for testing so drill out little holes so they'll go right in all right well shit screw got my right screwdriver now Now I can see if I drilled the right size hole. Alright, so I put the uh, plastic cover in place. So I really want to keep testing to make sure. Oh, now it's slipped. Uh, looks like I'm just going to have to guesstimate the mounting brackets. And then if it doesn't work, either live with it or redo it okay today hey lay settle down i'm trying to measure hey, settle down. <laughs> what are you doing all right i'm trying to measure two four inch slots for the brackets and two eight inch slots and then two four inch where are you going crazy baby put those brakes on Taking a break to eat these yummy wrap Collard thingies. Wraps. They have collard leaves, chick turkey, turkey, some salad mixture, tomatoes, avocado, and then I'm going to add some gluten free olive oil and balsamic dressing with pepper. All right. Now, I would normally be drinking a beer right now while I'm working on a project in the hot, hemmet sun, but we're on this crazy diet where we have no gluten no sugar no alcohol and no anything else so i like, can't have i don't think you should call avocado. it a diet though because you can eat as much as you want yeah, just not who, of those things who would want to eat that much collard greens and tomatoes <laughs> just kidding i'll eat just lots kidding. of avocado are you excited for our new tv that's going to go in there Woohoo! yeah all right i know leia is excited and she's not going to tell mommy about what just happened huh nope her lips are shut.
Okay, to drill through the metal, I used the 5 seconds so that these number 10 screws would go through and not have to thread through the metal. And to drill into the wood now, I'm using these, I'm using 9 ths so these number 10 screws can go in without splitting the wood and still have tight grip. I drilled that side already. I'm going to drill the other ones. Line this up. I'm just tacking these in place because I'm probably going to have to remove them to actually fit it in the cabinet. Now we have this placed in there with the brackets on there. All right, I'm back. And now it's time to cut out the little space for the cords. But you know what? Oh, let's see. I don't really have a workbench here since we're just working out of the RV right now. So I guess this is what I have to do. it in place because I want to get some extra meat for the uh, actual TV mount screws to bite into. So I just tack that on there and then this is going to drill through both of them. Alright, getting real close to finishing. Putting in the last of the brace screws. Right now I just finished drilling all the holes. All right, we're just about done. Got all the screws in. Got this mounted. I even mounted that down just so it won't rattle. The only thing I might do later is, before we drive, tighten these things up so it doesn't sway. One person said they used a bungee cord to keep it to one side while they're driving. So, here we go. What's up there first? Alright, boy am I glad I cut that hole extra big, 
because I had to run, I had to take the TV off again, take all the cables off again, stick my arm way back there, feed the cord through the little spacing, and the best way actually to get a cord through there if you have to grab is, instead of trying to grab through here, grab, stand up on the chair, or on the passenger seat chair, and grab through the back of this compartment, and you can reach back there and feel the cord that you shoved through. Anyways, now, without further ado, come on TV, <gasps> yes, 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 Y, E, yes, ah, uh, yes, the RV now has a TV, and I still have to I want to fill in the top there with something. Bottom lines up pretty good. You can go into the chairs no problem and sit down. You don't have to worry about hitting your head. So, all right. Bye bye.